Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD. And yes, I'm going to show you guys how to install and configure Project Honolulu from Microsoft. And let's get started. So the first things first, I have two virtual machines. Uh, this virtual machine right here, which is my Hyper-V, my Active Directory, my DNS, my DHCP, everything. It's running server 2012 R2. For all the servers that you want Project Honolulu to manage, you need to get the latest and greatest Windows Framework Management. I downloaded the WFM 5.0 for my server 2012 R2. I'm gonna double click on it and I'm gonna hit yes on that. And it is the Windows Management Framework 5.0. I'm going to accept and it's going to install. So every server that you want Project Honolulu to manage needs to have the latest and greatest Windows Framework Management. So we're gonna go inside my other server, which is BJ Honolulu. And what you want to do is get this machine ready. You don't really need to install any particular roles and features, but you do need a supported browser. The only two browsers that this particular application supports is Chrome or Microsoft Edge. Now for operating system requirements, you can install it inside of Windows 10, Server 2016, Server 2012 R2, and also Windows Server 2012. Now the machine that I'm installing it into is a server 2016. Now once your machine meets every requirement for this application to be installed, you wanna head over to the TechNex site. I will provide the link at the bottom of the description and just register to continue. Uh, I think it's between 30 to 90 days trial base, which is pretty cool. It's a technical preview, so most likely you're gonna get the latest and greatest updates. So once you download the application, it's really small. It's between 20 to 30 megabytes in size. We're gonna double click on it. You're going to get a nice little wizard, so we're going to accept the terms, click on next. Next thing that you need to do is configure the gateway endpoint. Uh, one of the things that's checked off by default is allow the Project Honolulu to modify this machine's trusted host settings. And the next thing is create a desktop. You would think this would be created by default, but it isn't, so just check it off, click on next. Next thing that you need to do is provide a server management site port. I'm going to give it a 5344. Now by default, it's going to generate a self-signed SSL certificate. If not, if you have one already, you can apply it here. Uh, I'm going to leave it as the default to generate the self-signed certificate and click on next. So it looks like it's doing this thing. So let's head over to our other machine and see if that patch has been installed. Awesome, so we are going to restart this machine. And let's head back into our Project Honolulu server. And it looks like it's still installing. All right, it looks like Project Honolulu was installed successfully. Let's go back inside our other machine that was installing the Windows Framework Management. It looks like it's completed. I'm going to right click on the Start menu and go into our Control Panel. And within control panel, I'm going to go to programs and features, and I'm going to do view install updates. And there we go. Windows management framework 5.0. Awesome. So let's close this up. Let's go inside our project Honolulu server. We're going to click on finish on that. And let's double click on the beautiful shortcut on the desktop. And we're going to get the not secure problem because again, we picked the generate self-signed certificate and we're going to click on advance and click on proceed. And we're going to use an admin account from active directory. Okay. Awesome. I'm going to say never, never save your passwords. Don't cache that stuff inside your browser. Uh, first thing that pops up is welcome to project Honolulu. Uh, Next, real simple, real plain and simple. So let's click on finish on that. And the first connection that you're going to have with Project Honolulu is the physical server that's installed into it, right? And real simple, let's click on add. And when you click on add, you get three options. You can either do it add server connection, uh, you can add a failover cluster connection or a hyper converge cluster connection. We're going to do a server connection and we're going to type in this guy right here. So that is hyper v dot dot edu. It is searching it is finding it says credentials are needed. We are going to click on this guy right here. I'm going to provide the credentials that it needs to establish the connection. 
And we're gonna do retry with these credentials. It's searching. Awesome, it looks like it found it. And we're gonna click on submit. And it's online. Now, if the machine that you're trying to add within Project Honolulu is not working or the status is stating Windows Framework Management is not installed, you gotta install the patch for that particular machine. And if we click on this guy right here, we're gonna get everything, the overview, the certificate, the device, the event, everything. Oh, this is awesome, 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 awesome. Look at this, you, keep, you have access to the registry, roles and features. So if I click on roles and features on this particular server, it's gonna give me a rundown that it has Active Directory, DNS, DHCP, Hyper-V. Uh, it looks like it's gonna take a while for it to load up. And if it does have like Hyper-V, it's gonna tell me what kind of virtual machines it has, what virtual switch. This is so, so awesome. This is a great tool that Microsoft is pushing out. And look at look at that, awesome. Look at that, Active Directory is installed, Hyper-V is installed. Oh, this is a great, great server tool. Uh, I'm super surprised that Microsoft took this long to release this to us IT admins. I'm super excited. This is going to be the first part of many videos dealing with this uh, particular tool. Hopefully you guys enjoy the install and config part. Leave comments right below and I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.